If you just upgraded to the latest iOS 18.3 or you're considering doing so, here are six settings that you need to turn off as soon as you do that. These are things that will help protect your privacy, make sure your iPhone battery doesn't immediately drain, and just make your phone operate and run a lot more smoothly. I'll walk you through all of those, but first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me. Thanks, guys. Now, the very first thing we'll do is head into the settings. We'll spend a lot of time in the settings here. And the first one is we're going to scroll down until we find privacy and security and tap on that. Now, from here, let's scroll down because there's a new setting in the privacy and security called Apple Intelligence Report. You can see I can tap on that and it will say report duration seven days or 15 minutes. And it says this report may include your personal data, such as messages and texts you enter into Apple Intelligence writing tools. However, if you don't want this information to be sent to Apple, which I don't personally, you're going to want to tap on that and switch it to off and OK. There's no reason why you should share that information with Apple. I view that as a security risk and a personal privacy risk. So let's go back. You might also want to tap on various other things like analytics. Make sure all of these are turned off. Apple intelligence or advertising. Turn off all of those things. Now, the second thing I would recommend doing is making sure you've turned on rich text messages, a new feature in your iPhone. So from the beginning, let's scroll down and we're going to tap on apps. Now, from here, we're going to scroll down until we find the messages section. So tap on messages and then scroll down and it's fairly hidden. But under text message, you can see RCS messaging. Tap on that and turn this on. This is a huge update for your iPhone. This allows you to send and receive full resolution images, have reactions, a lot of great basically features that are now built in when you text from your iPhone to an Android and from an Android to your iPhone. It'll make it look and feel a lot more like another iPhone running iOS operating system. Now you also want to go down and for whatever reason, a lot of times I find whenever I update the low quality image mode is turned on. I don't necessarily know why it keeps toggling on, but you want to make sure you go to the bottom and turn this off. You don't need low quality images. I would prefer and I assume you would prefer highest resolution quality images. Now, after we've done that, let's go back to the very beginning again, because there's a big culprit that will eat up your battery life. Let's scroll down and tap on general here. And then we'll scroll down until we get to background app refresh. Tap on that. And if all of these are turned on, then essentially all of these can run in the background and use up your battery, even if you're not actively using those apps. So you can turn them off one by one, but you can also just tap at the very top and completely disable this. There's no real reason why you should have this turned on on your iPhone. Essentially, you can just open up an app if you wanted to use it and update it, but you don't need it running in the background using up your data. The next thing I would recommend doing is, again, we'll go to the very beginning and tap on your name at the very top. This is a bit of a housekeeping, basically, thing that I would recommend doing is tapping on subscriptions because a lot of times people update their phone and go months or years and they have subscriptions that they pay for every month or every year that they don't realize. So you're going to look for active subscriptions here. And if you tap on any of these active subscriptions, you can always hit cancel essentially to make sure that you're not constantly being charged for those active subscriptions if you're not using those. Again, a bit of housekeeping here. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is let's go back to the very beginning. We've touched on battery life, features, your privacy. Now, let's just touch on a simple privacy win is scroll down, tap on privacy and security, and then location services. This is a big thing that you might have downloaded various apps that are using your location. You can see that little arrow if it's used your location recently. If you don't want various apps to use your location, one, that's a privacy risk, and two, it'll eat up your battery life, just tap on it and hit never and turn off all those. The last thing sounds really simple, but it helps a ton. So let's go back to the very beginning and tap on general, 
and then scroll down to the bottom and just hit the shutdown button. Your phone could have been up and running for days or weeks without a proper reboot. Again, it sounds really simple, just by shutting down your phone and restarting it, a lot of times your phone will run quicker, faster, it won't have any bugs or glitches on it, and it's just a good housekeeping thing to do to clear out all the cache and temporary files, and you're good to go.